Do you know that if you can just take a moment and pause and breathe, many of the challenges that is looking like it is insurmountable, is undefeatable, can be solved. Many. This is one of the things the spirit of fear does. The spirit of fear robs a man from thinking, from looking at any possible situation or any possible solution. That's why many times when you're going through crisis, you can't think. Look like something just shuts the brain or from the mind from thinking. This is the aim the spirit of fear wants to achieve. So if you can just take a moment and pause, rethink things over, you realize that you might just pick a solution or an answer to that troubling situation. Sometimes one thing I do when it looks like I'm all troubled or it looks like the situation looks very difficult to handle, I just take a nap and once I wake up, there is so much light that will flood my mind. Don't forget the Bible says, in the presence of light, darkness disappears. So if you can just take a moment and pause and think things over, you realize that you will find solution in the midst of that trouble. You will find solution in the midst of that trouble. Try these things out and you will be so surprised the realities that is around you that you've not taken advantage of. Don't allow the spirit of fear rob you from thinking or from seeing light in the midst of darkness. See, have you ever realized in your home that even when it's dark, sometimes if your mind is at peace, you begin to see, you can literally tell where some things are. But when you're tense and you're running in a dark place, you make more mistakes. Yes, that's the same way it is when you're going through that difficult or that challenging situation. If you can just take a pause and think things over, you realize that you see solutions that you never saw before. This is one way to do because you should be in control of your mind at every point in time. Don't allow the devil, true fear, rob you from thinking of seeing light in that difficult challenge. Because indeed, he didn't come to destroy us. The Bible told us, it said, our light affliction walked for us a far more weight of glory. The Bible calls these things, it said they are temptation. And temptations come to take us to a higher level.